Hey everyone, okay, so today's tutorial is going to be on the best cream foundations. So there's loads to get through, so let's make a start. But before we do, um, I use cream foundations on everybody, regardless of skin, um, whether it's oily or dry or combination, because I set it with a powder and a puff and it lasts forever. But in generally speaking, if you're not gonna really set it or anything like that, then cream foundations obviously are best suited for normal combination to dry to dry skin types. But I use them on everybody because I set them with powder and a puff and they last forever. Okay, so the first one is by Bobbi Brown and it's a stick foundation and also the oil free compact and the extra repair cream foundation. All are amazing. I tend to favor the Bobbi Brown stick foundation. I think because stick foundations are hard to come by now and you can contour and highlight with different shades with that, which is wonderful. They're all very, very emollient. Even the oil-free one, I find quite emollient for an oil-free kind of foundation. But if you've got yellow skin, that kind of yellow undertone, then Bobbi Brown's gonna be an excellent place for you to start. And the stick foundation, I think, is excellent. And one thing is, obviously, all the products I mentioned, they may or may not cause problems with breakouts because everything can cause a problem with breakouts. So, a foundation that I might really, really love may be a problem for you, but one that you really love may be a massive problem for me. There's no way of telling what will or will not break you out. So unfortunately, I can't say. The next one is by Graftobian, and it is the cream foundation. It's the HD cream foundation by Graftobian. 15 grams of product here, very reasonable price. They come in a huge selection of cool, warm, and neutral shades, which is brilliant. They go on very, very sheer or very full coverage, and they're completely... 100% HD friendly, which is wonderful. Getting a gold star, in going one further, is Maylon's Cream Foundation with the Cream HD Foundation, which contains 30 grams of product for an astounding $10. Here in the UK, we can get them for eight pounds 50. That is ridiculous money because for 30 grams of product for eight pounds 50 is amazing. There are, it is hands down, I think the cheapest, bestest, bestest foundation that you can get for your money. Excellent, excellent product. Kevin O'Quire Sensual Skin Enhancer. It comes in a tiny, tiny little tub like this, but actually holds 18 grams of product, which is nice. Now, let me just show you, I don't know if you can, can see that the camera doesn't want to zoom, doesn't want to focus, but there's a little dent in here. This has been used nine times now, this one. Hardly anything has been taken from it because it's so concentrated. So I really, really like these. I'm gonna show you MAC Full Coverage Foundation, which I have happened to have been raving about ever since I began doing tutorials here on YouTube. 30 grams of product, around about 22 pounds here in the UK. It is not being discontinued, it's just a pro product, but you can phone up MAC and they will still send you it, even though you're not a pro, I believe. So really check out MAC Full Coverage because it's excellent. Other good foundations by MAC are the Studio Tech, which is absolutely beautiful. A great, great foundation, huge selection of shade ranges. And those of you in this skin color group, NC27 is one of the most beautifully neutral shades you can get. It's a cross between NW25 and NC25, and it is beautiful. Um, also, the MAC Mineralize Cream Foundation is very, very good. More, you're looking at more light, light to medium coverage with that product as opposed to the Studio Tech one. I tend to favor Studio Tech, but you know, that's my opinion. To each to his own. Uh, Makeup Forever Pan Stick Foundation, which is basically a cream foundation in stick format. You kind of twist it up, very full coverage, as is with most cream foundations, but can be sheared down to next to nothing with a damp sponge, beauty blender, or a dampened makeup brush. So beautiful product, very good for covering, um, like with MAC Full Coverage Foundation, for covering very kind of problematic skin, acne, scarring, birthmarks, that kind of thing. Our Cinema Secrets also do excellent, excellent, very emollient foundations that can cover beautifully. So you may want to check them out because they are lovely. Unfortunately, you get less product in those, but it doesn't mean that they're not great because they are. I just like to see a little bit more product would be nice. Um, Makeup Atelier Paris, which I mentioned before, is the gel foundations. 100% waterproof. These ain't coming off unless you really, really want them to. Um, very, very, very matte base, so you need to be um, very aware of that. They, they will not give you a dewy finish at all. Matte base, but once they're on, they ain't coming off. Um, Cover FX. I got this from the iMats here in the UK when it was here in February. Um, 
very, very good cream foundations, without a doubt, full, full coverage, but look beautiful when sheared out. Um, these can, of course, cover almost all kind of things on our skin that we hate, so you may want to um, look into this. Is it better than matte full coverage foundation? It's a little bit more emollient, but no, I don't think it's better. I think they're very, very, very similar. Ben and I do amazing cream foundations. They do them in refills, they do them in the pots. So you may want to check them out just because they kind of don't have the same budget that the other brands do. They're still excellent, excellent foundations as is Shuamora uh, Nobora Stick Foundation. Very, very full coverage foundation there that if you use it directly from the tube, you know, you're not going to see any skin at all. But Sheer Down is beautiful. Um, the foundation palette by MAC Pro as in M-A-Q. This is the Mandy Gold one, which looks like this. This is for um, warmer skin tones, like ebony skin tones, women of color, that kind of thing. This orange corrector here is amazing for discolorations around the mouth and under the eyes, that purple undertone. And these two colors here, particularly this one in the middle, is so warm and red based, which is beautiful. So loving the MAC Pro ones, and they're wax based, which makes them gorgeous to use. Our CMA foundation come in palettes like this, and they also come in refills. Each well here contains 30 grams of product. They go on like a dream and blend out like a second skin, leaving a demi matte finish. They are gorgeous, gorgeous things to witness. Um, where are my next? Last two, I think. If I've missed any out, I'm so sorry, but um, you know, I get mental when I see things around me. I'm one of those freaks that likes it all packed away. Um, Ket Foundation, Cream Foundation. Holy Grail is so nice, so beautiful going on. Um, come in refills, they also come in little, um, you know, little compacts like this. Beautiful foundation, the sheerest application you've ever seen to the fullest. Absolutely gorgeous. I like to use this with a beauty blender because it's beautiful. And last but not least is the reformulated and regurgitated and much better. Uh, oh, this is the brand, brand new one for deeper skin tones. Um, mud foundation palette. The formula when I originally tried it was very good. It was much stiffer, much harder, and had a smell to it that smelled like my grand's old makeup, very rose scent. This is completely different, no scent, incredibly creamy, and just a little joy on the skin because it looks so, so beautiful. Love cream foundations, always have, always will, and they're beautiful to contour with. If you're looking to contour and highlight, as I do in some of my videos, um, mud works very well, obviously Ket, works amazingly because that's the one I use the majority of the time and if you're very very careful and very very light then MAC for coverage will work just as well too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh one more thing, the reason I haven't mentioned drugstore brand ones is because that I have not tested them, I have not used them and therefore I can't really give you a good opinion on them otherwise I would, I'm so sorry. Thank you for watching, bye.